Oops, God dang it. I always do that on these things, on the 1000 and on the 1050. I always cruise down the road in like fifth gear or fourth gear. And, uh, <laughs> all right, you got the widget guy here with you. Um, yeah, I just had a little lunch or dinner. It's, uh, almost five o'clock. So anyway, I just ate at the, uh, Coyote Den again. Just getting out of the house on the 1050. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually testing a, uh, Oh, a heated vest I bought, so uh, it's actually kind of nice, so I thought I'd just give it a run. We're uh, 56 degrees, and uh, yeah, so that's all I know, just getting out of the house. Nothing new to report, really. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool when you, as soon as you hit the button for the... The heated vest, it uh, you can feel it. It's like, oh, I can feel my back and my neck. Oh, it's so nice. So, anyway, I'm just giving it a test, see if I want to keep it or ship it back. And, uh, that's about it. Not too much going on, no trips. I have a cold spell going on here. Uh, the 50s is about all it's getting to today. Yeah, we're 56. So, uh, you know, it'll get colder as I head into Wickenburg, but the main thing was is get out of the house. And have you guys ever had to, uh, like today I had to really pry myself out of the house. It's like, God's my last day off. I need to get out and ride. But I just, man, I just didn't really feel it. I just, uh. Yeah, I, I didn't really feel it. I'm glad I did, of course, but uh, yeah, I just had to really make an effort to get out the door. So I'm not sure if you guys are like that sometimes or uh, or what. Uh, the other thing I did is on my uh, on my uh, fly tracker helmet, I uh, put new padding in it. Uh, you can buy separate padding for it and so uh yeah it actually feels like a new helmet again i didn't realize how nasty the, the padding was in, inside here and how much it had compressed so anyway threw that in there we'll keep it for another year or so and then uh i'll just upgrade next time and I was kind of grumpy half the way out here until I started getting out to where people weren't out in the desert. Then I started going, okay, okay. It's good to get out. Yeah, that's fine. So. And then I have uh, these gloves on instead of my usual ones. These ones are all leather. So they're a little bit more appropriate. Oh, the heated grips. Yeah, I knew something was missing. Um, yeah, I got these like years ago. They were on eBay. They're regular Suzuki gloves. Uh, they were on eBay for $10 a pair. I mean, that was the deal back then. And so I picked up two of the yellows, two pair of the yellows, and then one. Probably see me in quite a bit in my old Honda videos, but they had blue instead of the, the yellow. But um, anyway, yeah, these were these were a smoking deal, 10 bucks. You know, it's funny, I've, uh, I've gotten to be where if I want to go out for a quick spin, I more enjoy the, uh, the 1050 than, like, say, the DR650 or the, uh, sometimes even the KLR. KLR is always usually my favorite, but, you know, lately it's just been kind of nice to get on this thing and take it instead. One thing I did, when I put this 300-piece windshield together, after I took it off, did a deep clean, I didn't do something right because it keeps wanting to drop down like it's already gone down from uh, about an inch from where I had it set. So I'm going to have to pull it apart. I think it's these plates. 
I put in the wrong way. Because we are 52 degrees. It's one of those clear, cold nights. We actually had a freeze warning uh, the past couple nights in Phoenix. We get those uh, a couple times a year, but yeah. Oops, God dang it. I always do that on these things, on the 1000 and on the 1050. I always cruise down the road in like fifth gear or fourth gear and uh, I never put it in six. What the hell? It's just, there's no sound difference. It feels the same. I mean, you can go down the fifth and it feels the same. You go down the fourth, it's a little more buzzy. Are you, I put it, this white light lets me know when I hit a certain RPM, so. But, yeah, it's just weird. This big old motor, man, like all these cars coming in my lane. Uh, this big old motor just lumbers along. It makes, it sounds the same no matter what, so. Anyway, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna just uh, enjoy the ride home, relax. Uh, I'll see how this video turns out. And, uh, the road you guys take care yeah I was just thinking man I could use a restroom god this thing has just a mid-range punch <laughs> that's kind of cool it has like a little rev limiter I mean a light limiter I guess let me see airport here we go Is that accessible for everybody? I do believe so. Well, that's for the dog park. Nice. That was perfect. I was just thinking, man, I had too much coffee. So anyway, yeah, we're at the uh, Wickenburg Dog Park. Yeah, you know, I just like to hit the big events, show you the sights. And somewhere in one of these hangars back here at Wickenburg Airport is my old uh, Cherokee 140. The guy who bought it, his name was Dave, which is a cool name. Um, he's a mechanic and he uses it to fly to different airports across the states and for his pleasure. But uh, yeah, it'd be kind of cool to see it again. I know he painted it, so I'd be kind of curious to see, but yeah. Anyway, so yeah, we're all done. And the other thing is, is um, the jacket didn't feel that warm. And so I checked it, and yeah, it was on a, it was on the low setting. So it's got three. One's like a white, then it goes blue for medium. White's low, blue's medium, and red is hot. And I can already feel the difference. I was wondering why it's like, well, it's just doing okay, but. Even around my neck, it wasn't that warm. So, there we go. Six gear. Come on, baby. All right. So, uh, anyways, that was a good stop. You know, and instead of a vest, I'm thinking something where I got some heat on my arms here. So, if I go back and then find something that's got a, uh, the upper lower heat in the front and back panels and has the arm arm thingies, so arm heat. Because that would be nice. Like I said, this, uh, I think it's the Dakar climb jacket. It has zero padding, so the only padding in there is my, uh, on my arms is my, uh, kind of a light puffy jacket. You know, the kind that folds into a little ball like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Too bad it's not like a vibrating heat. That'd be even better. <laughs> On my back, that'd be awesome. I'd pay good money for that now. One thing that's weird is this cruise button on all the other V-Stroms is the start button. So when I, I still hit the cruise button 90% of the time when I'm gonna start this bike. And then I remember it was this, but this is the flashers or the, uh, the uh, uh, this is something else oh the on off on my uh other v-strom so i'm still getting used to hitting this to start it the upper one i guess is to stop it 
and then this is for the cruise so but I thought that was going nuts and I looked at my V-Strom 1000 I go oh yeah same same damn button is for the, uh, the starting so, I guess they did just use what they have so they wouldn't have like a million buttons like a African twin or something man oh man that's where I got gas on the way up filled her up full of Chevron And I've gotten uh, 49 miles to the gallon on that last tank. So, like I said, I just love these uh, big V-Strong motors. You know, I used to, oh, it's too heavy, it's too this, it's too that. Well, I didn't know what I was talking about. Because <laughs> so, I never rode one, you know. But, God, they feel actually more balanced and light as a 650 I think there's 38 pounds difference but um, I knew he would do that um, but it's just a better feeling bike with the upside down forks and stuff come on paw boy I'll have to try eating there once or twice I really didn't want to go for a ride I, God and I reluctantly put my gear on and pushed the bike out. And I thought, well, at the very least, I'll have something to eat and I'll test out the jacket and uh, cool weather while we got it. And, uh, or the vest, the heated vest. Um, so, yeah, I'm so glad I, I left the house. Needed just a headlight up. It's way low. I ran high beams and nobody even flashed me. I mean, it was... And high beams weren't enough for me to see uh, properly. So yeah, I need to adjust the uh, height of the headlight. Yeah, one thing about this bike, like I'll be quiet, but like right now, there's like no engine noise. You can't hear anything except for the tires rolling down the highway. It's just an amazing, and I think that's why I enjoy riding it so much. It's, it's just a quiet, smooth, on a whole nother level that even the V-Strom 1000 wasn't. Yeah. All right, yeah, we'll take the 303 to the Northern Parkway, take the Northern Parkway to the end, then I'll take uh, that to my casa. My casa, mi casa, you casa. All right, I'm going to shut this guy off.